Start game now. Welcome, fans, to another edition of the Notes for Gamer. And Kevin Aloxley is back, and he brought me another game. But he keeps talking about his movie Draft Day. Why do you keep talking about Draft Day? Oh, that's because you brought me super high impact football for your Sega Genesis with the Sega seal of quality. It's official, and it's gold. And it looks like a standard football title. Almost kind of looks like a uh, kind of Washington, Dallas kind of thing going on there. But anyways, let's go ahead and put super high impact football into my Sega Genesis system and find out if it makes an impact or not. Let's go to the game. Super High Impact was published by Arena in 1992 and developed by Iguana, the same guys who would later bring NBA Jam to the Genesis. It's based on a 1991 Midway arcade game of the same name, which in and of itself was a sequel to High Impact and was also the unofficial prequel to NFL Blitz, which Midway would bring out about six years later. Super High Impact is a fast-paced, over-the-top football game that is full of attitude. In the game, you can select one of three difficulties and one of a small handful of teams. Most are based in U.S. cities like Chicago or L.A., but there's also a team based on Europe and Africa. However, all the teams are pretty much equal and just uh, have different colored uniforms. Once selected, you play a single game of football. There is no season or playoff mode. Different from the arcade version, which was four players, this is only for one or two players. In the arcade version, there was only a single button, but this one uses all three buttons. The button A on the offense hikes and passes the ball and also does a speed burst on defense. B will pitch the ball to the running back, or if you're on defense, it will switch to the closest guy, and the C will do a spin move. Before each play, you get to select a play from a limited playbook. When you're on offense and you're going to pass the ball, you don't select a target. The computer kind of chooses for you, so it's kind of really weird. It's not like Madden or even Tecmo Super Bowl. You just go back and you just kind of push the direction that you hope to throw the ball, and the computer will just throw the ball kind of in that way. Occasionally, fighting will break out amongst the teammates, and you win a fight by just mashing the buttons. It's just a mashing button contest. Whoever mashes the most wins, but whoever wins just gets pride. You don't get anything for winning a fight. The same mechanic is also used for the kicking game where you just press buttons as quickly as you can. I found the best method was just to roll my fingers across all three buttons for this. The graphics don't vary much, but I think they did a solid job kind of getting you the arcade feel, including some digitized characters who occasionally pop on screen. The sound of music is also solid, very arcade-like, and there are some digitized voice samples as well, which for the time was pretty cool. Family friendly wise, I'd say this is kind of targeted more for the middle school age. There's a lot of 90s attitude in this game. There's lots of big hits and fighting, but I didn't hear any swearing and there wasn't any blood. On eBay, this game for loose copies goes for $4 or less, so it's really, really cheap as far as that goes, and that includes shipping, and complete copies can go for $5 to $10. Now, on Facebook, I asked what people thought about this, and both Nick and Eric answered, and basically they both said that they liked it, and they saw it as a precursor to NFL Blitz, which it was, same company. Overall, what was my reaction? What did I think of the game? Well, I think it's best suited for a two-player experience. The game itself is very shallow and could really use some sort of a season or playoff mode to kind of freshen up, at least for the single player. When I first played this on easy, I was actually challenged by the computer, but as I got used to the kind of different controls that were different from like NFL Blitz or even from a John Madden football, I was quickly able to beat the computer which took away a lot of the fun and challenge. Even on the hardest mode, I was able to beat him once I got a hang of it. So overall, I think it's fun in like limited little spurts, but it is shallow and can get kind of tired quickly. So where am I gonna rank this? Well, it's gonna be on the bottom half, so let's look straight at the bottom. I like this better than the worst game, Mighty Max, by far. And I'd rather play this than Bubsy, but I do like F-22 Interceptor a little bit more because F-22 Interceptor has a little more depth to it. So I'm gonna put it right there at the number eight spot. So there you go, super high impact football, fun for two players, kind of a shallow experience. Don't go out of your way unless you're looking for a game to kind of just hang out with your buds with. So there you go. If you like videos like this, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. You could also follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just go to either one and search for The Nosewear Gamer. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on The Nosewear Gamer. Take care, everybody.